evening everyone could be morning could be afternoon but here in the uk in leicester where i am right now it's evening it's tuesday night it's 8 p.m so you know what time that means it's instagram live <coughs> it's instagram live time so tell me where are you watching me from Good evening to everyone who is jumping on. I can see loads of people jumping on over on Instagram. So as always, you guys over here are watching me on Instagram. You guys over here are watching me on Facebook. Or you could be watching me on the replay on YouTube. Because for anybody who has missed this before, all of the Tuesday night Instagram lives are saved over on our YouTube channel. So you can go back and you can watch any of our Tuesday night lives whenever you want. So, tell me, where in the world are you watching me from? Because we are now in, oh, I don't know, over 250 locations around the world with our networking events. I think Leona said the other day we're in like eight, I don't know, eight countries? I have no idea, but literally we're everywhere. So please tell me where it is that you're watching me from. Don't just tell me where you're watching me from. I want to know, are you a new viewer or are you a regular viewer? Where did you find me from? Are you here every single Tuesday night? up in your game on Insta, or is it the first time that you are watching me from? We have people watching from everywhere. We have Doncaster, Staffordshire, Kent, Cheshire, Halifax, North Devon, Denmark. Hello to everyone <coughs> who is joining me live. Shoes by Louise says, it's my second Tuesday night live. Yes, it was, because last week was your first week. I remember you jumping on, so hello to you. So... For anybody that is jumping on and is a new regular, a new regular, let me start again, shall I? For anybody who is jumping on that isn't a regular viewer and is thinking, who is this woman and what is she talking about? My name is Estelle Kiva. I am one of the co-founders of the Mums in Business Association, which is now a global brand that is like everywhere. We, I was literally, I've just come out of a networking event in Manchester. And we were talking about all the different places that we're hitting in the world now. And we, there's that many places I don't even know. Leona is on the live. Leona, how many how many countries are we in? Leona is watching live from Spain. Always good to have my sister on. So she can answer any questions and also drop in any links that anyone needs. So for anybody that's watching on Facebook, we will drop links to anything we talk about into the comments. And you guys over here on Instagram, you can go and find all of the things that we're going to be talking about in the link in bio after the live okay so i am here to share some of my favorite instagram tips and tricks with you every single tuesday night tonight we are going to be talking about updates there have been tons and tons of updates there have been tons and tons of updates on instagram over the last couple of weeks so you might have noticed that your app's been playing up a little bit this is what happens when they start to bring out lots of new updates, okay? The app starts to go a little bit weird, and then loads of updates come out, and that is exactly what has happened. So I'm going to be talking all about the latest updates, and as always, we will be doing a giveaway, okay? So we are here to share the love, as always, but to be in it, to win it, you need to share the love too, okay? So you guys over on Facebook... I want you to share this live out, okay? You can share it into your groups, you can share it onto your personal profile, you can share it with anybody you like. You guys over here on Instagram, you can tap that little arrow icon, the little aeroplane icon. If everybody invited just one more person, imagine how many people are going to take value and have a better knowledge of growing their business on Instagram, okay? Everything that I use to grow the Mibbit Instagram account, I share with you guys. I don't do anything different, okay? So all of the things that I learn, I jump on my Tuesday night lives and share with you. Literally, like the, in the Instagram updates have happened this week, I'm here sharing them with you, okay? I figure out something new that works for, for us in growing the, you know, the Instagram account, then I share it with you. So if everybody shared this with one other person, someone you know, that uses Instagram for business, okay? Someone that wants to up their Insta game, um, you know, maybe doesn't have money to invest in trainings, Tuesday night Instagram lives is the place to be. Free insource, free insources, free resources, free resources, okay? As well as um, you can be here and get your, an your answers questioned. Oh my God.
I don't even know what I'm talking about. So you can get your questions answered. Also, if you join me on the Instagram live on a Tuesday night, okay? So if you've got a burning question that you would love to ask me, Tuesday night is the place to, is the, is the time and the place to ask me, okay? But tonight we are doing a competition as always. So if you would like to win access to the Mums in Business Association VIP area. So let me tell you what is in the VIP and you will see why you want to be in it, okay? The VIP area has over 50 different trainings, including eight on Instagram, okay, specifically for Instagram. So if you're here, not just to hear me waffle, but to learn about Instagram, VIP is the place to go. Go and check out. There's eight trainings in there, as well as two hashtag directories. So for anybody that struggles with thinking about how many hashtags or what hashtags they should be using, you can go to the hashtag directories. And you can pick out the hashtags that you want to use. And little bit of an exclusive, I finished working on number three today. So number three is going to be launching really soon. But there's two in there already that you get for free. And something that a lot of you don't seem to know about, there's also a content calendar. So for anybody that, you know, struggles with thinking about what to post on Instagram or, you know, you sit there and you think, I don't know what to post today. Inside the VIP, every single month, there is a calendar an idea of what for, you, for something for you to post, okay? So it could be mental health day. It could be odd sock day. Did you know there's an actual day that, that is just dedicated to chocolate? I know, neither did I. Also, the 3rd of May is um, God and Meditation Day. I didn't know that. But if you're struggling for something to write for your content, there is a whole content calendar there every single month telling you about things that are going on that you can use. And again, that's free inside the VIP, okay? So if you want to win access to the VIP, you need to take part in the competition tonight. So like I mentioned, you need to share this out with at least one other person. Let me know in the comments when you've done Let me know you've shared it, okay? But also, I want you to take a screenshot, okay? At some point throughout the live tonight, I want you to take a screenshot and then afterwards, I want you to share it with us. And I want you to tell me what has been the best thing about tonight's live. Did you like the updates? I'm also going to be sharing my top tips on how you can raise your visibility on Instagram at the end after the updates as well. OK, so I want you to share this live with someone else and I want you to share a screenshot tonight of tonight's live. And I want you to put some feedback in there. Tell me what was your top tip from tonight, don't forget to tag me at Estelle Kieber Official, and we will pick one winner from both Facebook and Instagram to win access to the Mums in Business Association VIP. And I've just seen that we've had, so Lily Lane Candles was one of our winners from last week. She said, get sharing, ladies. And I've also just seen, where was that? Energy Focus with Kel has said, I am a new VIP member and I love what is available. So there you go. Shoes by Louise said, I have done my VIP training. It was great. So inside there, there's like eight different trainings on Instagram, as well as like 40 other trainings on growing your business. So go and check that out or take part in tonight's competition and you could win your way in. So how are you all doing? How has this week been for you guys since, like, what are we on now? I don't even know what, like, number week we're on, like, week six of lockdown or something. I am feeling better than I was. I'm now going out shopping and not having anxiety attacks. People don't seem to be practicing the two meter distancing, which causes me a lot of stress. But I only have to go shopping once a week. And actually, today, Chris went for me instead, so I didn't even have to go. But other than that, I'm dealing with it pretty well, staying busy at home and, you know, ups and downs with the kids, as you'll all, you know, feel my pain, I'm sure. Good days, bad days, um, more bad days than good with one of them this week. But, you know, we won't go into that. It's Tuesday and I want to kick back and talk about Instagram. So what's been going on with you guys? Tell me what has been one thing that has been amazing for you all this week? Because I think it's really easy for us to kind of, you know, focus on the bad stuff when really we have a lot to be grateful for. So tell me in the comments one thing that you are all grateful for this week. I'm going to tell you what I'm grateful for this week. I am grateful that the Mums in Business Association page hit over 10,000 followers. 
okay if are they called followers or do are they like page likes i don't know but basically we hit more than ten thousand. okay so if you are not following the page then go and do so we have the mums in business association facebook group and we also have thumbs in business association facebook page okay so you can go <coughs> and check both of those out so oops you guys on instagram lost me there my battery is running low so um yeah that that was a, a big thing for us we have hit fifty six thousand in the main facebook group and we've now hit ten thousand on the facebook page so thank you to everyone who is following us over there oh what else has been good this week i interviewed some incredible incredible guests this week um dean stott so we have a special podcast launching for mental health week which is happening on the 18th of may and i have had some of the most incredible guests sharing their stories with me about their mental health journeys and dean stott was one of the people um, on the podcast that's been recorded um, he's amazing. Go and check him out. There's an Instagram post about him. He's also doing Stotty's Miles for Kindness as well, which you might have seen that in my post where um, I had a picture of me like this. And you ride, walk or run five miles, donate five pounds and tag in five other people. So um, he was one of the members. He was one of the people on my, my podcast this week. We were talking about mental health. So that was super exciting as well. What else has happened? We have launched the next training, which is the grow your Facebook back to basics. Okay. So if anybody is watching and wants to grow their Facebook, um, this has launched, it goes live on the 11th of May. Is that right? Leona, let me know. She's watching. Let me know. I'm sure it's the 11th of May. If not, she will tell me in the comments. I will update you, but it's our next private group training. Okay. It will cost 12 pounds. You get access to a private group with Leona for five days where she will talk to you all about how you can use Facebook to grow your business, how you set up a page, how you create engagement, how you create community, everything that you need to know about Facebook, you're gonna learn from Leona, it's 12 pounds, that launched this week. So, what's been going on in the world of Instagram? Are you all ready to hear about some updates? You might want to get your pen and paper ready because there have been tons this week and I'm gonna talk to you about every single one of them. So a few weeks ago, we were talking about the two new stickers that Instagram had added in. So there was the thank you sticker, which is the thank you for the NHS, and there was the stay home sticker. And we talked about how you can use them to, um, to raise your visibility of your business. So tonight, I'm talking to you about three new stickers that Instagram have introduced in the space of the last week. So you might have noticed when you go to your Instagram stories, there's some new stickers in there. One of them is a food delivery service, okay? So you can now order food using Instagram stories. Tell me what you think about that in the comments. Can you throw some love hearts at me or shout, oh my God, if you think this is absolutely amazing. So right now, you can order using Deliveroo and Uber Eats through Instagram stories. Like, could life get any better? The only issue I'm having right now with this like new Instagram sticker is the fact that I can't find any other restaurants or any other accounts that are using it. So if you are, if you know a restaurant that, you know, has an Instagram account, tell them you can now use this Instagram sticker and people can order food from them using the sticker in their Instagram stories seriously but clearly people don't know a lot about it yet because i haven't been able to find it anywhere at all so if anybody has seen any of the um the stickers being used please screenshot and send them to me because i haven't been able to find them <coughs> anywhere at all okay so that is the first that is the first sticker that has been introduced this week the second sticker where have i wrote my notes the second sticker is gift cards gift card stickers okay and again you have to be partnered with one of the people that instagram partner with so there is a list it is cabbage loylap raise square toast and yifty so if you want to sell gift cards 
using Instagram stories, you will need to partner with one of those people. But once you are partnered with them, it then means that you can put a sticker in your Instagram stories and people will be able to buy gift cards from you, okay? Which is perfect right now. Like if you're thinking of gifts for people, you can't actually go, you know, give them gifts right now. So buying gift cards is an absolutely brilliant way for using, you know, for growing your business using Instagram if you can't be, you know, giving that physical product out. So that's the second sticker. The third sticker, my favorite, is the challenge sticker. So like many of you will know, I have been branching out over on TikTok. If you aren't following me there, you need to because there's some seriously funny videos going on. But Instagram have launched a sticker that is very, very similar to what is going on over on TikTok, okay? Where you have your challenges, where people can get involved, okay, on TikTok, Instagram are doing the same. So right now, they only give you, I think, probably about 10 different um, challenges that you can pick from. I know the drawing challenge is on there, and there's an art challenge and a yoga challenge. Um, and basically, what you do is you can join in with that challenge, and then you tag in other people. So you can nominate other people to join in the challenge as well. So it's a little bit like TikTok. But the most exciting thing is right now you can only use the ones that Instagram give you, but you are going to be able to create your own challenges. OK, now this could be huge for you to raise your brand's visibility and awareness. OK, you could create a challenge around your business and get people participating every time someone participates and tags in other people. This is then going to put your business in front of another audience. OK, so now you can see why I was getting so excited about the challenge sticker. So that is one to keep your eye out for. The challenge sticker is already there, but you can't create your new challenges yet. When you can, you know I'm gonna be here on a Tuesday night and I am going to be telling you all about it. So those are the three updates for stickers that Instagram have announced this week. But who wants some Instagram tips? I am not just here to talk to you about updates. I am ready to give you some Instagram tips for raising your ability. Who has a pen and paper ready? You're going to want to write these down. So are we ready for my top tips? And again, perfect opportunity for you guys to be sharing out right now. If people learn, if people want to learn using Instagram, this is the time to join. Okay, I am about to give you not one, not two, but three Instagram tips to raise your visibility, okay? So let's do it because I know my battery's gonna die on my phone if I don't fit these out really, really quick. So tip number one is to make sure that you are using your stickers in Instagram stories, okay? There's lots of different stickers you can use and all of them will raise your visibility. So first of all, the location sticker, make sure you're using that. The hashtag sticker, make sure you're using that. Mention sticker, make sure you're using that. They are three really simple, easy ways, simply by using your Instagram story stickers that you can raise visibility. That's all in one go. There's like three tips in one, but that is only number one. Tip number two is to go and search out the location that you want to attract people in or the hashtags that your ideal clients are using, okay? So first of all, if you want to target a specific audience, you need to be searching that audience on Instagram and going and engaging with those people, okay? So that is how you target your locality. If you want to target a certain person or a certain group of people, you need to think about the hashtags they are going to be using in their posts, okay? Think of the words they're using in their posts. Then go and search those words. Those pictures that come up then are going to be people who have used that word. Go and engage with them, okay? If they are your ideal clients, go to their account, like and comment and leave genuine comments, okay? This is how you become more visible. People aren't going to know you're there if you're just going to sit there and be like, oh, come to me. It doesn't work like that, okay? You have to step it up and you have to put yourself in front of other people. And that means by getting in front of them. That means by liking their Instagram posts. It means commenting. It means going and reacting to their Instagram stories, okay? You're only going to get from Instagram what you put in. You're going you're gonna to plateau at some point. You're going to sit back and it's going to tick along for a little while. But trust me, it's never going to grow. So if you want to raise your visibility and hit a different audience, you need to make sure that you are being present, okay? And these tips will help you raise your visibility. So first of all, make sure that you are using as many stickers as you can to raise your visibility 
in your Instagram stories, your hashtags, your location, your mentions, okay? Tip number two, make sure that you are interacting in the location or you are searching for your ideal clients looking at the hashtags. Tip number three is to make sure that you go and find new accounts every single day to follow and engage with. So this is a little bit like tip number two. I want you to do this on a daily basis. So this is what I would call the 555 rule, okay? You go and find five new accounts, you comment on five of their posts, and you like five of their posts, okay? Because this way, they're going to get a list of notifications. I know when someone comes to my account and likes loads and loads and loads of my pictures, I'm like, oh, who's this? And I go and check out their account. So you're going to do exactly the same. I want you to find your ideal clients, and I want you to put yourselves in front of them. Five, five, five rule, okay? And I want you to do it every single day. You can't just do it and then sit back for a week and think that it's going to keep going. You know, you have got to show up every single day and practice the five, five, five rule. So those are my top three tips for visibility. See how I smashed through them. That's why I told you, you needed a pen and paper. I was not messing around tonight. So now is your opportunity. If you have any questions, drop them into the comments and I will go through them. So I'm going to go through Instagram first. Hello to everyone who is jumping on, my regular viewers, lots of new people. Lots of people are excited by the new updates. Can't wait to have access to them. Rather, what about hashtags in text in stories rather than stickers? Is there a difference? So that was a question from Oil Mavens. Okay, so she's asking... Can you use the text in stories rather than the sticker? <clears throat> so yes, you can use the sticker in your Instagram stories and then add in more blah, 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 add in more hashtags using the text tool, okay? And a really good way to do this is use your text tool, type it all out, and then make them really small, hide it behind a sticker. So it looks nice and tidy and you've not got hashtags all over the place making it look messy. But yes, you should be using both. Motoshki says, I love the stickers. They're really doing a great job. I'm starting to see a difference on my account. Yes, you will do. You have to just do the 555 rule. Isabella Malay, so she says, yes, it's the 555. Flybaby18 asks, I've got a personal and business Insta. Is that okay? Yes, it's fine to have a personal and a business, but what I would definitely recommend is that you are putting your personal stuff onto your business because people want to get to know you. They want to they want to relate to you. OK, people will buy from you, whether this is a product or a service, when they can relate to you and when they trust you. OK, so the greatest way for them to, you know, to get them to do that is to be sharing your personal stuff onto Instagram. And now I'm not like talking about every single personal bit of your life. What I'm saying is they need to see a sneak peek at the person behind the business. OK, so, yes, it's fine to have both. But to be fair, I would probably have your business that shares a bit of everything and your personal that's like, you know, totally personal. Adele Clark said, what is the ideal amount of hashtags in your post, please? You should be using 30 hashtags in every single post that you do. OK, and the reason for that is you can be found by each one of those hashtags. Each one is a way for you to be found. They're search words. If you can use 30, why, would, why wouldn't you use 30? I know there's been a lot of speculation, people saying that like nine is the optimum amount and some saying 11. Let me tell you, I've done my research, I've used 11, I've used 30. 30 definitely gets you more engagement, okay? It means that you have 30 ways for you to be found. Why would you only use one? You have one way to be found, okay? So you can use 30 hashtags, you should be using 30 hashtags. If you're struggling with what to use, like what hashtags to use, head on over to the VIP. You can check out the hashtag directories. Um, you also get, you can buy them standalone as well. They're 15 pounds on their own, or you get them inside the VIP. Ike2017 asks, if you use the same list of hashtags, will it reduce impact? Yes, you should be using different sets of hashtags for different sets of content, and you should be changing these up probably like every month or every couple of months. Look through your posts. Look at see what's working for your hashtags. If you can see a certain set of hashtags are working, use those more often and just tweak every now and again. Okay, you're not going to want to use the same set for everything because hashtags are, you know, you're describing the post. So surely every single post isn't going to be the same. So therefore, you wouldn't use the same hashtags on every single post. 
energy focus with Kel. Is it best to use hashtags in comments or the description of your post? Again, it doesn't really matter. I've tried it in both. It doesn't make any difference whatsoever. If you prefer to put it in the comments, put it in the comments. If you want to put it in your main like caption, put it in your main caption. It's not a problem at all. Um, Mayor Flex, uh, Mari Flexologer. I'm a bit scared to put myself on Insta. I know that I have to, but scared of being seen as boring. I have to put my children on. No, you don't. Not at all. I am sure that there are loads of things that goes on inside your business that I would love to find out about. Whatever's going on with your kids, your homeschooling, what you have for breakfast. I'm a bit nose there. I like to see what's going on it, like behind the scenes. Everybody's like that. So I think what I do is pretty boring. I get up every day. I sort the kids out. I sort the breakfast. Have to go poop scoop. Um, I make Chris's lunch. Um, I create some content. I record some podcasts. Do you know, like to me, it's just the same thing over and over again. But for other people, they want to see what's going on because it's something different to them. OK, so I feel that I'm boring. I think we all kind of feel like that, but people want to see it. So definitely make sure that you are putting yourself out there. Ike 2017, doing VIP now and learning so much. Thank you. You are very, very welcome. Involve Wellness says, how do I increase my IGTV visibility? OK, are you sharing it out? OK, so IGTV, for anybody that doesn't know, is Instagram TV. OK, this is where you can upload longer content than you can your main feed. So the best way for you to raise your visibility there is to share it onto as many different places as you can. You can be using hashtags. You can also drop a link into your IGTV. But then you can share it to your main feed. You can share it to your Instagram stories. Um, you can share a link to Facebook and to Twitter. So all of those different things will help you raise your visibility using um, with your IGTV. Hope that answered your question. So we're going to Facebook. Do you have any questions? Edwina Clark said, is there a way to stop 20 plus strange people voting in my polls? Um, I've literally just been asked this question in the networking event that I was at. No, there isn't. But do you remember last year when Instagram had a big cull? on all the fake bot accounts that were liking and commenting. Everybody's followers went down because they got rid of all the fake accounts. They will eventually do the same on Instagram stories and get rid of all these fake followers. Um, but for now, if you know that it's like someone that's following you, that's it's being automated, I would just block them. Like literally just block them. You're not talking to a real person. You're not engaging with a real person. So don't bother wasting your time and just block them. Helen Louise Adams said, Estelle, when you are doing stories, can you add three or four pics after each other or can you only put one on and then have to wait 24 hours? No, you can put in as many as you like. I would recommend between three and five if you're just starting out on Instagram stories um, and you can build it up from there. Like the quicker you get at sharing them, the less time you're going to spend on there. Um, so you can add in more. So no, you don't have to just add one at a time. You can add in as many as you want. Jade Tor. Estelle is the Insta queen. Take the advice. She's not the queen for no reason. That's what I'm talking about, Jade. That's what I'm talking about on a Tuesday night. Oil Maven says, I get weirdos voting on my polls too. Crafty Blue said, yep, yeah, lots of weirdos when I do questions. Everyone is the same, okay? Everybody is getting the same thing. It's even the same when you put in like the sliding emoji sticker. That is exactly the same. You're getting loads of responses. So I am just hoping and praying Instagram, get their finger out their backside and do something to, you know, get rid of them. They did it with the fake likes and comments. So hopefully they will be able to do it with this as well. It will just be a case of, you know, waiting it out until they do actually kind of figure it out. Edwina said everyone else's life always seems really interesting. Yeah, I think my life's pretty boring, to be fair. It's very monotonous. I do the same most days. I hope that answered your question, Helen. What's the best scheduler to use on Instagram, asks Ellie Cameron. OK, so I personally use Later. That's one of my absolute favorites because you have so many different things that you can do on there. You can look at how it's going to look. You can schedule it. You can save your hashtags. Um, so I would recommend Later. There are other ones out there. Hootsuite, Preview, um, Buffer. There's quite a few, but I totally um, would recommend Later every single day of the week. Mike 2017, I just learned how to add an extra story, the plus inside the story, if that makes sense, it took ages. Um, yes, you can add in as many stories as you want. And 
you can literally just go back. There's a little camera icon, top left-hand side um, at the top. You just press that and then you can create another Instagram story. So I hope that that answered your question. Hayley Morrison said, I'm just starting to delve in. How do I get more followers or have you covered this? Oh my goodness, how do you get more followers? You have to watch my Instagram lives every single Tuesday night when I share all my tips and tricks. Or, um, no, on a serious level, it's not one thing. Hayley, um, I don't know if you've watched any of my Tuesday night lives before. Um, there, there isn't one thing that you can do to grow your followers. It's a whole like amalgamation of like lots of different things, hashtags and content and posting at the right time and having a strategy and all of those different things. So tonight we've just touched on how you can improve your visibility, um, but you can check out, there's lots of different trainings that we have, growing your Insta, what is it, grow your Insta 2.0, making sales on Instagram, IGTV, 10 steps to 10K followers. Um, we've got loads of Instagram trainings that you could go and check out. Um, and there's loads of stuff on the blogs podcast too. So, is there any benefit of the timings of your stories? So again, this will be down to kind of your audience. You will be able to see when you get most interaction, okay? This is kind of different for every single person. It's like when people ask, what's the best time to post? Everybody's best time to post will be different because each person has a different audience, okay? I hope that that makes sense. Bottle Top Knots has said, the Back to Basics course and the trainings are awesome. Yes, they are bloody awesome. I've had some amazing feedback today. Absolutely amazing. Head on over to my um, main account, my Instagram account, Estelle Keeper Official. Um, the post on there today um, is a bit of feedback from one of my one-to-one um, -one clients. Absolutely blew my mind. Always love to see people succeed in um, when they're putting in the hard work. But she puts in the hard work. That's what I'm saying. I can give you all like all the tips and tricks in the world. But if you're not going to go and implement it, then your Instagram account is not going to grow. OK, there is no tricks or anything like that. It's just about consistently doing the same thing, showing up, you know, adding value, giving good content. Um, yeah, that's it, really. There is no magic formula. I'm sorry to say, if I had a magic formula, I would bottle it up. I would be charging you all a great deal of money for it. But other than buying your followers, it's just consistency. You have to like show up every single day, be giving value, making sure that you're interacting, sharing on Instagram stories. Literally, I could go on forever. But yeah, definitely head on over and check out. Um, check out the trainings. There's loads. So I think that's about it. Unless anybody has any more questions, don't forget you can win access to the VIP area where there are over 45 trainings on everything to do with business, including eight to do with Instagram. And um, go over to today's Instagram post and let me know some feedback in the comments. If you have watched tonight's live, use the hashtag in the comments, um, Mibba Insta Queen over on my Instagram account. Let me know what was your biggest takeaway from tonight. Did you enjoy the top tips? Are you excited by the Instagram updates? Let me know in the comments. Um, and if no one else has any questions, that's me done for the night. I shall be back at some point during the next week. If I'm not back before then, look, there we go. My battery's going on Instagram again. You guys are the only ones getting a good signal this week. There we go. So thank you all for joining me. Thank you to all my new viewers. Thank you to everyone who joins me every single Tuesday night absolutely love being here with you hope that you have all enjoyed um the training tonight hope that you all taken away something let me know in the comments on my instagram post um what was your top tip for tonight don't forget tag me in your instagram stories if you took a screenshot tonight and you could be in with a winning vip access good luck to everyone and i'll see you next tuesday 8 p.m here facebook Instagram. Enjoy the rest of the week. Stay safe. Keep to social distancing. Wash your hands a lot. Post lots of Instagram posts.